Hello and welcome. How are you doing today? I am doing great today and the reason for that is that that I have here a great collection of brake pads because I like a lot of braking system and now I have here six different brake pads and all of these brake pads they are used but some of those are almost new one like in that one in here because there is this uh, this braking material it is almost half inches like in one centimeter and this is there is also those shapes that this is almost new one and then I have also totally used uh, brake pad what is what is not any material left and today my my agenda is to tell you that that how this brake pad wearing sensors works and now I am talking these brake pads where are those wires in here and 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 what is difference between that old one style brake pad and then this new one brake pad where is this wearing and warning light sensor there is only difference is this cable and this is electric cable what actually is like copper copper cable what what goes in it's it's that kind of hook and this hook is in just in inside of this uh, breaking pad material and this is the ideology and this is actually really really easy this electric uh, device and system and this is this is not a complex technology like rocket science to Mars March or rocket science to to Saturnus planet they are really complex and this is uh, almost so easy that children also when we little bit learn and teach they understand how this system works when at least somebody is is uh, teaching how this system works and, and and when we compare this old one uh, this brake pad there is not this sensor they are almost similar but there is only this space for this sensor and next I am I am planning to tell more this sensor technology and and how this sensor works and when it start to send this warning message to our car's dashboard and this is the key idea that when it activates and, and this activation happens so that, that there is there is two cables in when we look in their inside in their two cables and actually when I, I have here this bigger example they are similar cables like in here and then there is cable copper cable like in here and then in here is this this hook area what is in that that kind of hook in inside of this material and in here this is a great example when we look this little bit closer because there is happening situation that that this sensor part what is in here those two cables goes in inside this plastic bike in here and and then then this this cable goes in here and then it goes back in that way and when this uh, this breaking bad material what is in here and when we look in that area when it burn out so much like in here is this it is almost broken and it goes in that bike and it burn out this plastic bike in here then this cable uh, goes cut and this cutting means in, in normal life that when we cut this cable that I take my this my this my tool cutting tool and I do in that way that I cut this this wire 
And next, next, when we are thinking that that if we have this this break break warning light is showing that that our brake pads are uh, are in problems, we could go to look and check that that what of these our fields brake pads it's it's damaged and then we can change this brake pad or then we have possibility to fix this error so that we can use these brake pads to end to end at that and, and we can save a couple of US dollars when we use these uh, our brake pads so far away that we have situation like in that and we use all of this material but this is this material so long that we we drive our braking pads to to end and, and then we have this metallic part and when this metallic part takes contact to this brake disc then I have here a brake disc and then then this this means that when metallic part takes this contact it starts to keep that kind of uh, very noisy sound and then we know in this this uh, by noise that now now we need to change this this brake pads because this metallic sound is really bad and I have a lot of experience because I am expert to drive my brake pads in this situation and there is only a drawback that, that when this brake pads goes in that situation then this brake pad this braking force becomes like 50% lower and Okay, but then next, next I so, so that how how this this uh, this uh, warning sensor activates and this is interesting and for that that I saw that that, that this activation we happens so that we need to we need to check this this wires condition and for that we can use many ways but one way is that we use this uh, this electric this electric meter I have here this multimeter what and, and there is this selection that please select in that position that that does this wire moves electricity and now I I little bit change this my I meters position to to that that point that and now I have setting that this measure meant there are two cables and now this measurement and this matrix measures that that is this this cable okay that that does this cable connects electricity from here to to here and in, in that happens so that first I insert that cable in here and then when I check that it, the system automatically gives this uh, sound and the sound means that now this power is moving in that position okay and next I demonstrate that this is my warning sensor in here inside in this brake pad and then when I drive a lot and this braking pad is taking contact contact to this my brake disc in this way and it goes in here and when I this brake disc moves anytime it it takes this material out in this brake pad and this this brake pads are actually are actually really soft material like, like they are pencil lead and for that I saw that 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 how how soft that I have here sharp knife and when I little bit scratch this material accurate picture in that way this material goes really fast this is like lead it, it goes so smart fast and and then when we compare to that my lead pencil 
what is in here and there is this lead material in there this is almost similar this lead of course this is a little bit uh, harder but this is actually really soft and this material is like little bit metallic particles and then something glue or, or something else and then remember that this is this is harmful material that, that, that do not uh, take air in there in this material because there can be asbestos in, in inside of this material and be careful because this is this this dust is not not good to our body actually this breath in lungs okay but but this was that reason and and then I I had this my my sensor sensor test going on and now now when I check that demonstration this cable is okay in here and then I check check also in this this my my that brake pads sensor and there are two of those wires in there and I insert first that bike in there and second in there and now I know that that this electricity go through in here and, and the sensor is okay and now I do interesting test that, that I do demonstration that I I take that that uh, breaking pad material so much away that the sensor activates and it means that then it sends message to our car dashboard and uh, and we have warning light on and and for that I I use my nice Dremel tool and I a little bit cut I have here excellent tool for small gridding and there is small gridding and this is electric multi-tool meter and I insert that in this electric electricity and then I turn on turn on this machine and now I am planning to grid a little bit this material away in here so much that, that this sensor activates and, and now I start to grid ok and now I test that that in this matter that is this electric going in there ok when sounds is blinking it means that this system is still workable and then I continue my gridding and this means that, that now when I am breaking brake pedal all time this material uh, burn out carefully more power this is like dentist drill okay and then I check this how my sensor is going on okay and now there is no any sound and that's mean that now now this my brake pad warning sensor is showing a yellow warning light in our dashboard like in PMV this is actually PMV 300 series E90 brake pad there is similar and now this uh, this this sensor and this cable is off and what has had actually happened and first states that that I have here different 
the workable pick a little bit different brake pad and it is workable when we test there is this first places there should be calm sound okay yeah that there is everything fine in here and now when I grid this material there happened situation that this sensor goes broken in here and I, I like to demonstrate with my this nice cable that I insert my bikes in here this way and in that way and now when this system is saying this blinking I do same to this electricity cable that I create using this Dremel also this cable cut it's it's still saying this sound and there is this co copper is looking I continue still there is left little bit a sounds is we can hear the sound I continue Okay, and now when this cable is off, there is no any sound, but when I connect this, sound comes. And this is the, the idea how this brake pad sensors works. And in next video, I will show to you that how you could fix these sensors, if you like to use these brake pads in the end, and this the end is that level that I think that the 10% of, of car owners use their their brake pads to end and to end means that there is no any of this lead and braking material that there is only this steel and plate in that back area okay and thank you for watching and this was really interesting interesting video that how this brake pad wear and wearing and warning brake back warning sensor works and thank you for watching and please send any questions to me and I will answer all of those your questions and thank you and we continue